Each password app offers various features that appeal to different users. So what I want to do here is found it. <laughs> I finally found the piece of paper where I write down all of my passwords. This thing was a bugger to find. So wait, you still write down all of your passwords on a sheet of paper? What a moron. Doesn't he know that you just need one amazing password to rule them all? Okay, so you use the same password for every single login that you yeah. have. Yeah. Ha, even I know that's a dumb idea. Okay, enough, enough. You both need password manager apps bad. I hope you enjoyed that admittedly silly introduction to this All Things Secured video. My name's Josh and I've been using password managers on all of my devices for the past few years. I've even reviewed some of them on this channel. And what I'd like to do today is introduce you to my three recommendations for password manager apps that you can start using today. And to make things easier, I wanna help categorize these into three different buckets. First, the best open source or free password manager app. The best password manager app for individuals or families. And finally, the best password manager option for business enterprise users. Let's dive in. Let's start with the best open source or free password manager option, Bitwarden. I mean, you can't argue with free, right? While I think that there are legitimate reasons to pay for a password manager app, and I pay for one password personally, if you're the type of person that just doesn't want to add another piece of subscription software, I get it, and Bitwarden's a great option for you. It really only does one thing, but it does it well. It stores your passwords. They have great desktop apps, dedicated mobile apps, browser extensions, and they even allow you direct access to your password vault on the web from any computer. Honestly, that last one seems like a terrible security decision to me, but that's how they run it. And you don't have to use their cloud services to sync your password vault, but I will warn you that the process of self-hosting is a bit daunting. Bitwarden makes money by offering premium features both to individuals and business users, but if you just want something free and simple to use, I definitely recommend Bitwarden. Now, for those individuals and families that are looking to upgrade your password security, I highly recommend 1Password, which is what my family uses currently. Okay, but honestly, why pay for a password manager when you can get one for free? There are a couple good reasons here. First, I like being able to share my passwords amongst my family, which is something Bitwarden offers, but only as a paid premium feature. My wife and I each have our own password vault, but we also share a vault that has logins for things like Netflix, Disney Plus, and even our banking that we share. I also pay for 1Password because of the added security features. They have something called Watchtower, which is a feature that monitors the health of my password profile, gives me feedback on where I can improve, where I can use two-factor authentication, and even monitors my logins to make sure they haven't been compromised on the web. I've already gone into detail in my video review of 1Password, but I really like their software, both desktop and mobile. It's easy to use and extremely secure. If you're an individual or family that is looking to take that next step in your password security, 1Password is the way to go. Finally, although 1Password and Bitwarden both offer enterprise plans, I'm going to be turning to Dashlane as my recommendation for businesses. As a business, there are a few things that are important to you. First, you want a piece of software that's easy to use so that you're not dealing with too many support requests during the onboarding process. You also want the highest level of security since we're talking about the keys to your kingdom here. Finally, it's good to have the ability to monitor and control all the users and permissions that are being granted on a corporate level. And that's where Dashlane shines. They use a patented security architecture that ensures strong encryption and has two-factor authentication built into the design. The software is similar to 1Password in that it's very easy to install, set up, and use without much help. Users are given what are known as smart spaces, which are essentially just individual vaults for both their personal and business logins to help keep them separate. And finally, your business has access to a dashboard that gives you an overview of user adoption, individual security scores, and allows you to manage permissions all in one place. In the end, I recommend Dashlane as an affordable enterprise option for password security that makes sense if you're a small or medium-sized business. Until we migrate away from passwords, and eventually that day will come, password manager apps are not just a luxury, they are a necessity in my opinion. Bitwarden is a great open source free option, but both 1Password and Dashlane offer free trials so that you can try out the software. Find out what software works for you, but at the very least, make sure you're using both a password manager and two-factor authentication. This is a baseline security, both for individuals and businesses. That's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I answer any questions in the comments, and I always encourage you to subscribe to All Things Secured, where I offer weekly videos with tips on great online security best practices.